Nice. Now, I've been working on this um, for a while now, and in particular, what I've been trying to do is put an edge back on it. Um, I had an edge. This is the Hanway Tinker Longsword um, blade only, which I just put a crude hilt on, just have something to cut with. And um, I've been trying to get an edge back on this thing. I had it sharp at one point, and I made the mistake of thinking I should sharpen it further. And what I ended up doing was kind of ruining. So I've been slowly putting an edge back on and um, slowly getting it to the point where it is still usable. Um, for a while, it was unusable. It would just bat things across the, the room rather than cutting them. Uh, it was just too dull. And um, I guess the message is if you, you're new to swords or you're new to sharpening swords, um, you know, I'm pretty good when it comes to uh, keeping knives sharp. Well, like the spider co here. Uh, now that's usually because knives usually come with a good edge to start with. Uh, so simply maintaining them is, I mean, that's a little different than putting an edge on something. The problem with a lot of swords is that, um, Western swords anyway, the edges they tend to come with tend to be not so great. Let's put it that way. And so, um, you know, it's still not sharp like a knife. Um, but uh, it is sharp enough to cut. And um, I've been slowly getting the hang of it. And um, I guess the, uh, like I said, the, the takeaway is if you're, if you're new to swords or you're new to sharpening swords, um, start with something inexpensive because you may go through several, <laughs> several attempts before you get it right. Um, but it does, does cut. And um, I'm slowly getting getting it to the point where it is usable again. So there you go. Um, like anything else, it's a learning experience, but um, I just wanted to throw that out there and um, we'll ride her out. Stay cool.